disaster. It, it, it's laugh. It's a laughable disaster. It's, it's you can't make this up. That's why it's laughable. This is Anthony Casamano's backyard, his pool area, overrun by vultures. They ripped all the screens out, like you see right now. Um, they threw up. They pooped all over the place. Um, they ripped that uh, pool fence down that you see around the pool. Casamano says that was the first time he spent $3,000 repairing everything, and then he got an alert on his phone from his security system. There's motion in the yard, so I check it out, and there are literally, there must have been a hundred of them there. This is a time lapse over several hours. Vultures everywhere. Casamano lives in the Ibis community in West Palm Beach. He says the vultures have forced him and his family to leave their own home and go to New York. I have a, a, a two-year-old daughter that I can't bring down there while the situation's happening. No, they'll, they'll probably attack her. And it's not just the Casamanos. Their neighbors sent us these photos. Different yard, same problem. The president of the Ibis Property Owners Association, Gordon Holness, tells me they're doing everything they can to keep the vultures away. He says the problem is one homeowner keeps feeding the vultures. Holness says they've given her a citation and a fine, even delivered a legal cease and desist letter. But nothing has worked yet. Casamano has tried to do things himself, placing balloons around the area, playing music all day long, anything to keep the vultures away. Some days it works, others it doesn't. We have to get the situation taken care of before we come back down there. I'm not going to come down there and walk into a mess.